I'm Derek Hall for the San Francisco 49ers, and uh, my Cardinal taking on the Oregon Ducks. I'm gonna take care of business this weekend. My name is Alec Dignata, Baltimore Ravens defensive tackle, and my Ducks are gonna beat Stanford. This is Alex Smith with the Cleveland Browns. This weekend, my Stanford Cardinal are gonna beat down those Ducks. Uh, you know, they're the complete package. They're, they played uh, spectacularly on defense in spite of some, uh, what at the time many people would have said were Many people, myself not included obviously, but uh, what many people would have said would have been devastating injuries. Uh, offensively, you know, I, I think that the offensive line's play up to this point speaks for itself. Um, you know, they've got a great core of, of uh, receivers, fantastic stable of running backs, and then obviously Andrews. So, uh, you know, I don't know that it's anything, uh, it's sim similar to what it's been in the past. It's nothing special that they're doing. It's just being themselves and continuing to play that level of football. Uh, we, got, we got better athletes. Obviously, um, I mean that, that's just a given, and um, the way we play the game is it's it's something that most people don't see, so it's hard to prepare for in a short week. I mean, what makes him so good, minus obviously the incredible play of Andrew, is the fact that no matter what's going on, they're very disciplined, very mature, a team that never quits. That no matter what, when things even when things go bad, they don't flinch. All they do is keep plugging away because there's a very experienced crew that has been through a lot and they know how to play in tight games and fight through all situations. There's a lot of playmakers and um, they can pick your poison. I mean Darren Thomas is a great quarterback and um, even if Darren Thomas is not playing this game we, we got a backup quarterback that can get the job done and um, well, Michael, Kenyon, DeAnthony Thomas, Josh Huff, Lavagene Tuane, David Parson tight end. I mean we do you pick your poison. I mean if I miss some guys I know, I know they're going to be ready. I know they practice faster than any team in the country, and they're going to be ready for anything that they're going to see. I think they're going to win it with their offense, and I say that because Stanford's going to need to run the ball well in this game. I'd like to see them kind of control the clock uh, as opposed to making it a shootout. Not that they can't match up with them in a shootout, but I think they're, they're best fit to make this thing kind of a, a slow it down a little bit, run the ball well, control the game up front, and in the end, I think they'll be fine. Ooh, Andrew Luck, that guy scares me. He scares me. But Nick, Nick Aliotti and that defense, I think they're going to be ready. And uh, our offense can score with the best of them. So, Ducks all the way. Oh, it's going to be a, to be a tremendous challenge for them, obviously. The Oregon has an extremely explosive offense. But, you know, they're certainly capable and have all the abilities um, that it takes to stop Oregon. You know, they're going to have to be extremely disciplined. And, you know, their gap control stopping their, you know, their option attack. and. You know, it's just going to take everyone's best effort, and I know that they can do it, and I trust that they'll do what it takes to get a win. I mean, I think the, the better question would be how are they going to stop the explosive Oregon offense? You know, uh, the, the speed at which we play the game up there, uh, you can't, like Justin said, you can't prepare for it, and so I think the, the challenge is going to be if they can stop, you know, our offense. Yeah, it means a lot. I think it means a lot for the team and a lot for the university. It's the inaugural championship. I think it would be great to see it at, uh, at a venue like Stanford. I'm sure it would be well received by both alumni and students and by the Palo Alto and larger Bay Area community in general. You know, I think, I think our defense is um, going to do pretty well, really well against Andrew Luck just because it will be their second year going against him and then they, I think they kind of understand what kind of player he is and what type of player he is and um, you know, the guys, I think uh, Nick Aliotti knows the coordinator there that um, what, what he, they need to do with uh, against Andrew Luck. It's going to be incredible, you know, it's going to be uh, certainly the biggest uh, game there and I don't know how many in recent years, you know, it's been a very long time since we've been in the national championship hunt. So I can imagine the atmosphere is going to be the most electric, you know, maybe ever in the school's history. So it's, it's very exciting, you know, uh, makes me miss uh, college sometimes, you know, so I can be involved in it, but I know it's going to be great. Well, atmosphere like no other. I mean, Stanford's not known for their loud stadium and stuff like that, but with college game day there, with Andrew Luck throwing, dropping back, throwing the ball to uh, receivers, I think they're gonna. It's gonna be a little hostile out there. But uh, I think the Ducks will weather, weather that uh, environment and, and come out with a victory. Uh, with college game day at Stanford, this is gonna be something that is unprecedented at Stanford. I think the fans will be crazy. I think the players will be ready to go. It'll be an environment that we've never seen before at Stanford Stadium, and uh, it should be fun to watch. That's a tough one. Uh, you know, obviously there's there's two explosive offenses there, and. Uh, you know, I think we have better team speed, like we said earlier, and uh, you know it'll come down to to our defense playing well and our offense lighting it up. You know, lighting the scoreboard up, getting the band going, and 
you know, so I think it'll it'll be it'll be a high scoring game uh, with, with Oregon coming out on top. For some reason I think it's going to be a shootout. Uh, you know, Oregon has a very high powered offense, and of course, you know, we know what the Cardinals can do on offense. So I'm expecting there to be a lot of points out there. But of course, having the card come out on top. Well, I think Oregon's going to jump out on them pretty quick. Be up by a couple touchdowns. Andrew Luck, he, he, he could play, so he'll bring him back a little bit. But at the end, I think it's Oregon's going to walk away with this one.